What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another episode of The Countdown to Halloween! This is a daily series in which every episode I'll show you how to create popular characters from the horror genre using the LEGO DC Supervillains Character Customizer. So without further ado, let's see who we're going to be making today. Alright, so in today's episode we're of course going to be making the Creeper from the Jeepers Creepers franchise. So to start off with, you're of course going to head into Custom Character, Appearance, we're going to scroll all the way to the top to Head, Head, and then Head again, and you're going to scroll down until you find this head right here. Now then, I went through a lot of different versions of this character. I mean, depending on what you look at, whether it be stills from the actual film, or merchandise, or whatever, you'll see that the skin colour of the Creeper really does differ. You know, sometimes it looks like a very very dark grey, but we all know it as a very dark green. However, the darkest green in this game is this, and to me, that is just far too cartoony for a character like this. So personally, I settled on this one right here. I think that is perfect, because it's got that horrible dark green colour, and when it's put together with the rest of the ensemble, it looks really, really cool. So I'm going to stick with that one. Now then, once you've done that, you're going to back out of there and go to face decal colour, and these, of course, are the eyebrows, and we don't want any eyebrows, so we're just going to make it the same colour as the skin. But for the eyeshadow you're going to make that black and you want to do the same for the wrinkle decal color as well nice all right now then on to helmets now we're going to have a fedora and we're going to make that dark brown already looking very very cool for the body, I actually went with a DLC body, and the thing is, not everyone's going to have the DLC pack, specifically the TV Villains DLC pack. So if you guys know of any alternative pieces that people could use if they want to make this character but don't have any of the DLC packs, let me know in the comment section below, because I think that would be really helpful to some people. But anyway, the piece that I went with is Vandal Savage, because I think if you choose Vandal Savage and you make it black, that looks really, really cool. So I'm going to stick with that one. For the arms, I just went ahead and made them black. No detail needed there, really. For the hands, I just went ahead and made it the same color as the skin tone. There we are. For the hips, you know, we've got a belt on the torso, so I don't think we need anything there either. So I just went ahead and make that black. But for the legs, I like to add a little bit more detail. So what I did is I went ahead and chose Gentleman Ghost's legs and I made it black. Just so it has a few little rips in the pants, basically. I think that looks really, really cool. And finally, for the overall appearance, I went ahead and gave him a cape. And this is going to act as the trench coat, basically. The one that I went with is I wanted a ripped cape, you know, to act as like a ripped trench coat. And personally, I think Cape 11 is perfect. I think that's the only ripped cape. I mean, there's this one as well, but I think that's too spiky for a trench coat. So I quite like this one. I think that one looks really, really cool. So we're going to go with that. And of course, we're going to make both colors black to match the rest of the design. All right, nice. Looking very, very cool indeed. Now, of course, we're going to move into effects. So we don't want a left hand glow. We don't want a right hand glow. For hit impact effects, we do want that on because it's going to be on regardless. We'll choose style one and we'll make it black. Nice. For the jump slam effects, you're going to go ahead and turn that on as well because it will be on anyway. And you're just going to make sure that it is black. Perfect. All right, now then on to the abilities. Okay, so we don't want the grow ability uh, for the jump button. Let's see here. Now, I know the creeper has wings, which are bat wings, basically. But unfortunately, there is no bat wings in the customizer. Hence why I decided to give him a cape, you know, for the trench coat instead of adding big wings, which would have been awesome. But hopefully, you know, maybe with the Batman, the animated series DLC, they'll add man bat wings so we can then make a much better creeper and a more uh, accurate one to the film with the wings and everything. But for now, we can't really add flight because it just doesn't make any sense. So what I would probably do is just leave all of this alone, I would say. I, I, I don't think Think we really need any of it so yeah i think we'll just leave all that alone and then for hold x we'll do the same we don't need a hyper jump so for tap square let's see what we got in here we got bolts explosion attack force field shrink explosives detective mode and teleport i will give them detective mode because they do have a great sense but i'm not going to add it on tap square because obviously if i did that they wouldn't be able to attack for hold square, beam, explosion attack, boomerang, destroy mode, lunge, drone access, I don't think we need any of them. So what we'll do is, seeing as how it's all the same abilities in hold circle, I think what we'll do is we'll go to tap circle, we'll select detective mode, turn that on, and we'll go ahead and make it, what color should we make it? How about the same color as his skin? Maybe that'll look good. Oh yeah, I like that actually. Let me see that again. Yeah, that looks cool. I think we'll go with that one. That looks really, really nice. 
All right, cool. Now on to skills. Okay, so let me see here. Technology, grapple, no. Mind control, no. Acrobat, yes. He is very acrobatic, so I think we'll we'll do that. Wall climbing, yes. We'll do that as well. No telekinesis. Super strength and smash walls, yes, because he does have inhuman super strength. Uh, beam deflect, no. X-ray, goon command. Tracking, we'll have tracking. We'll go ahead and make the same color as what we did with detective mode. Yes! Looking very, very cool. I'm liking this a lot. Looks awesome. For the graffiti, uh, we don't need any graffiti. I didn't know you could actually change the graffiti color. That's pretty cool. That's good to know. Illumination, no, no hazard protection, but we'll go ahead and give him stealth as well. Nice! Alright, so that is the abilities done. Now we can move on into personality. Now then, health icon. Let me see here. Red, green, yellow, orange, teal, pink, purple, silver, black... Um, I guess we'll go with green. Health type. He is immortal, so I think we'll go with invulnerable. Voice, just choose any voice. I tend not to mess around with it too much. Speed, just go ahead and choose normal, even though he's quite fast, I believe. And then for the target, we don't actually have a target, so I don't think we really need to pick that, so that's all right. Animation. Now, I don't think we really need to pick an animation because we are going to give him an axe. So I don't think this is really needed really so what i'll do is i'll choose normal so at least we've got it selected and we can move on into weapons now we'll go down to hammers and axes and i would say probably give him the hatchet i think the hatchet's pretty good and i just went ahead and make it dark gray nice and you see there we don't really need an animation now because holding the weapon gives him that custom animation so yeah that's pretty cool Alright, so we've done the appearance, the personality, the weapons, the abilities. Now we just need to name them and then choose a status. Alright, so let me see here. Status, obviously a villain. I just go with, you know, unknown affiliation and then the name. Alright, it should fit, I would imagine. The Creeper. Or you could just call him Creeper, either way. The Creeper. Yes. Awesome. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop the Creeper into the hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Creeper from the Jeepers Creepers franchise made in LEGO DC Supervillains. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Honestly, I think he looks like one of the creepiest characters I've made so far. There's just something about him that looks really scary, especially in this area. I mean, look at it. I showed this area with Dracula, but I mean, it, this time it isn't in black and white. <laughs> so you get to see it much better. But yeah, he looks so scary. I love it very very cool so what can he do well this probably isn't the best area to actually show off his abilities so what we'll do is we'll head into gotham city it's gonna probably take a while to get there if we uh, just run like this so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get him a vehicle now then what vehicle would he drive uh let me see how about this pickup truck that'll do yes all right let's get moving creeper Time to cause some chaos. I quite like this vehicle, actually. I really enjoy driving this one. It's very cool. I actually kind of like the drifting and everything with the driving. It's quite fun. Sometimes it can be a bit too drifty, if you know what I mean. But when you're doing like a drive like this, not too bad. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Driving out of the woods and into Gotham City to cause nothing but pain and misery. <laughs> what joy! <laughs> <laughs> right. It's nice to finally do a character that uh, isn't from, like, the black and white era of cinema, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, I've loved doing The Invisible Man and uh, The Creature from the Black Lagoon and Dracula. They they've all been so much fun to make, but it's great to finally show some characters that aren't from that era, you know? Because I know there's been a lot of requests and things, and I can't wait to share all of the characters that I've already had planned. Um, this is just one, you know, out of many still to come. It's it's going to be great. I can't wait to share with you guys all the other stuff that's to come. Very, very exciting. Really having a lot of fun making this series. And I'm so glad to hear that you guys are enjoying watching it as well. That's really cool. Like, I've been planning this for a while, wanting to make a bunch of horror-themed characters in this game. And the fact that everyone's enjoying it is just even better. Right, so now we can actually showcase his abilities. So what we'll do is we'll destroy this car. There we are, with his axe. Boom! Nice. Right, we can also... I want to see, does he do a special move with the axe? Whoa! Oh, okay! That was cool. Very brutal, too. 
Even for a Lego minifigure. <laughs> Take that! Did that not make a sound effect there? Did you hear that? Oh, there we go, look. Why is it going red when we chose dark green? Ah, whatever. Never mind. Destroy the cars! We can pick them up as well, because we're super strong. And we can throw them at this police officer, because we can. Why not? Take that! And that, and that. Oh, we got an army after us today. Boom! And boom! And boom! There we go. Lots of explosions. Take that! I do wish I could have added the wings. I really hope they add Man Bat in like the Batman the Animated Series DLC and then we get his wings in the customizer because I would want to make this again just to add the wings because oh man, him flying around with bat wings and everything, that would look so flippin' cool. Especially if you could change like both colors on the design. If there is two colors, I don't know, but I think that would make it more detailed, wouldn't it? Take that. There seems to be not a sound effect when I do like a ground slam with the uh, axe. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. Take that! And, oh, explosion. Yes! Just causing all-out chaos with the creeper. Take that. And that. I think they've really made it so you can just cause so much chaos in this game. Like, the cars and everything blow up so much quicker than they used to, and it's just that you could just really cause so much carnage, <laughs> basically. All right. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that move yet. Wait, did he do that with the axe? I want to see that again. Do that again? I think he does. He does something with the axe there. That's cool. Go into the light. That's awesome. That is very cool. I love how when you add certain weapons and things, it changes the animations to stuff like that. It's not just, you know, the same old animations. The weapons do actually change stuff and make it cooler, which is really great to see. No, it didn't get relinquished, but it did get picked up by a very creepy dude. Very creepy. I love how you can just keep tapping circle. It's not like LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 where you had to wait for your special meter to charge and everything. You could just tap circle and perform a special move whenever you want. See? Pick this guy up, punch him, pick him up again, and then boom! There we are. Nice. Are you still trying to get me? Oh, the taser! Not the taser! There's some police parts in the customizer, like the, the police hats and everything. I do, re I do really wish that they added all of the police parts to the customizer, like the uniforms and everything. That would have been nice. There is the SWAT body that is in there. I also wish they added their bulletproof vest, because that is so cool. And that would be used for, that could be used for making a lot of really cool characters. Maybe they'll add it later, who knows. I mean, if they're up for adding DLC pieces, which they are, because obviously some of them are already in the customizer, it'll be interesting to see if they're up for adding just more pieces in general, just to give us more creative freedom. This axe is, like, unstoppable. <laughs> well, not the axe, I would say the creeper is unstoppable at the moment. Hey! Wow, this guy's quite strong, actually. I, you know what I should have done? I should have punched him off the edge. Let me try that again. Tell you what we'll do. Bring this policeman up here. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, officer, can you come over here? Thank you. Okay, don't press X. Do not press X. Are you ready for this? Oh, he threw him off the edge. That was cool. Take that. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yay. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll have a bit of a drive about, because these guys are just relentless right now, and they're just going to keep coming after us. Where is my vehicle? I think it got destroyed. It probably did in all this chaos. I mean, come on. Give me my pickup truck. Yes! Give me my pickup truck. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! Out my way! There we are. Ooh, we can go to the back cave with the creeper. That's not terrifying at all. Batman versus the Creeper. Now, that would be interesting. <laughs> I think that's like the character that everyone thinks of, isn't it? Like, Batman versus this guy. Everyone wants to know who would win, Batman or this guy. Because Batman always prepares. Oh, I tell you what, what we can show here, I've just realized. Because we gave him the acrobat ability, didn't we? So does this work? 
I think it does, doesn't it? Usually that gets the police on you when you do that. There we go, it does work. Nice. So we're going to hop up here. There we are. And again. And again. Keep going. Almost there. This, of course, leads to the top of Wayne Manor. Oh, I didn't... He didn't grab the rope. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think I had this problem in the Spider-Man video. For some reason, he doesn't grab the rope. I'm really not sure why he's... Why, why that doesn't happen. <laughs> it's very weird. I wonder why he doesn't grab the rope. Oh, well. But hey, at least you can still add acrobatic abilities. That's cool. Hey, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything. You lie. Oh, come on. Oh, trust me to do that, eh? Trust me to do that. Yeah, just watch it explode. Watch it explode. There we go. And I'm alive. It's okay, everybody. I'm alive. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, let's mix it up a bit. What else have we got? What else? Hmm. Oh, station wagon. Why not? <laughs> Why not have the station wagon? I quite like the variety of vehicles. I also like that when you choose them, it changes the color. I hope, though, they can do it like LEGO City Undercover, where in, like, the next LEGO game... Whoa, nice drifting! When, like, the next LEGO video game, if you choose a vehicle, you'll be able to change the color. So you choose the vehicle, but then you also say, I want the vehicle to be red. You know, something like that. You're not going anywhere! Whoa, I did not know you could kill them! Okay, I can kill his friend, but he's invincible. The creeper has met his match, clearly. You, sir, should become either a superhero or a supervillain. Seriously, that is way too much power to hide. Oh, can I do a jump? Oh, I thought it would do a little jump there. Kind of did, but it kind of didn't at the same time. Oh, yay! Whoa, I just ran that woman over. Sorry, my bad. Excuse me, pardon me. Hey, there's a jump there. Yes, let's do the jump, because why not? I want to see what he does. Well, that was weird. <laughs> That's very weird with that vehicle. Very strange indeed. We've got the fun fair over there, which I spent a lot of time in in the last video. And back to Arkham Asylum. Just drive back down here. I think I picked the best game to do this series in. Most definitely. I mean, it's about villains and it's so spooky, some of the areas. It's like the game was telling me to make these characters. It's like, look, you've got these scary areas. You know, go for it. <laughs> See what you can come up with. And I'm very happy with the way they've all turned out. I can't wait to share all of the rest. I'm so very excited, but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> surprises. Spoilers and surprises. Whoa! Hey, can I get out here? Can I do it? Am I the best driver in the world? Let's see. Oh, I did it! Can I have a... That's what I'm talking about. Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, this area is so creepy. Beep, beep. Whoa! Oh! The creeper's gonna take candy from a baby! Because why not? Hello, little baby! Don't be afraid! I just want your candy! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little baby, I am. But I, I'm very hungry. <laughs> the creeper is starving, so he eats candy in this iteration. Whoa! Uh... Were, were you, like, right in front of me there, or did you just spawn? He, like, came out of nowhere there, I swear. That was really weird. Oh, we can do a race. Tell you what we'll do. I, I, I'm not too keen on this vehicle for a race, but how about the last part of the video, what we'll do is we'll go with the pickup truck, because I love it so much. It's just so cool. And let's see if I can do this race in this pickup truck. There might be, like, parts of it where you can't, but let's see. Let's see. No, uh, actually, the shape of the race, you know, the icon, kind of implies that this is something I can do. But let's see. Let's try it. Here we go. Out the way, random dude. 
do 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 boo boo do. Oh, listen to this music! That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Creeper! Didn't see this in the movie, did you? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Where's this taking me? How long's this race? Right, I obviously have already done it. I just can't really remember. Oh, it's this one. Right, we're done in a second. Hooray! There we go. Back into Gotham. Cool. What we'll do is we'll just go around this corner. And... Around this corner as well. There we are. Whoa. Hey, can you go inside there? Lacey's department store. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of the quests is in here. I didn't know you could go back inside still. That's cool. <laughs> wow, it's like when he attacks with the axe, there's like a massive knockback effect. That's really cool. Oh, it's creepy. I would, ma'am, I wouldn't be sitting here. Especially when the creep is about. I would not be going through corners and that like that. Definitely not. No sorry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the latest episode of The Countdown to Halloween. Stay tuned for the next episode tomorrow. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.